Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we are in Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah chapter 10. I'm going to look at verses 2 and 3. Zechariah 10, verses 2 and 3. Here it reads and says, it says, For the teraphim speak iniquity, and the diviners see lying visions, and tell false dreams, that comfort in vain. Therefore the people wander like sheep, they are afflicted because there is no shepherd. My anger is kindled against the shepherds, and I will punish the Melgoths where the Lord of hosts has visited his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them like his majestic horse in battle. And so as we read these two verses, um, the point that I want to make out on this is the fact of who he is speaking against and, he, you know, those who are supposed to be warning them, right? The diviners, the uh, teraphim, the, the shepherds that are supposed to be leading, they're supposed to be protecting, they're supposed to be warning, and they are not doing their job. Instead, it says they speak iniquity, they have lying visions. They do not, uh, they, they comfort and dream, uh, comfort in vain. They have false dreams. And so the people are wandering astray because their leaders are not leading. And it's the same thing as we, we go through our lives today. That is, we don't have those who step up and lead as they ought to. And again, these people are somewhat leading, but they're leading in error. They're giving false hope. And to the point of saying, you know, they're saying peace when there is not peace. They're allowing people to, to continue in their sins and not warning them that, that if they don't turn, that they will be punished. And that's what you, you have today. Today, the world has so many false teachings going around and telling the world, telling people that they can continue in sin and be right with God. Have nothing to fear. And that's just not right. It's just not what lines up with the Word of God. And so we have to make sure we warn by the Word of God that we stick to it and we don't change. Lest we become accountable for giving false hope, for having, uh, for comforting people in vain when, when they shouldn't be comforted. We comfort one another with God's comfort, the Word of God. Which means that we teach that people do need to repent and come to the Lord in order to be saved. So, I want to thank you for joining me. I hope that you have a blessed day. If the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you later.